All right, folks. So today we're going to take a look at this Ardroit, I think is how you say that, uh, lithium iron phosphate uh, battery charger. What's unique about this charger is it can charge at 30 amps, which is fantastic. The charger that I currently use to charge my 100 amp hour batteries charges at 10 amps. So that means with my current charger, it takes about 10 hours to charge a battery, which kind of sucks. And with this one, I can charge that same battery in about three and a half hours. So what we're going to do today is we're going to test this thing out and see how well it works. Before we get started, I did want to say that I was contacted by the fine folks at Ardroit, and they asked if I would do a video review of this particular product. I like batteries, and I like chargers, and I like doing video reviews, so of course I said yes. So they sent this to me free of charge in exchange for this video review. Now, if you're the type of person that is triggered by sponsored content on YouTube, I suggest you go watch some cat videos. All right, let's take a look and see what's in here. Voila, the box is open. And you can see the charger itself is uh, pretty well packed, but there's not much in the box. Let me get this out of here and we'll see what we got. All right, let's take a quick look at what was in the box. So the first thing we have is some documentation over here, which starts with this certificate of something or other quality. So uh, glad to have that. If you take a look at this, it lists the different model numbers, and uh, I'm not exactly sure what this says up at the top on this table, but I think it says subscribe to the Smoking Ape. And uh, here's some other tidbits of information that you might find useful. But on here, you can see the model is the AD1230, so I'm assuming that's 12 volts, 30 amps. And we do have a little bit of a user manual. I don't know if we're going to need to consult this, but I would recommend that everybody consult this. Let me put it over here and see what else we've got going on. One of the things I noticed is that when I took this out, it has this big old plug on the side of it right here. And I was wondering what the heck that's for. But uh, over here is another plug it comes with, which is pretty handy. Uh, these are a little bit thin, and um, I don't know what kind of wire this is. This probably is copper clad aluminum, and it has these eye bolts. So you could just connect this to your battery full time and then just plug this in to here when you need to do your charging it also comes with a power cable and uh, i'm in north america and this looks like a north american power cable and on the side of this uh, you plug the power cable in here and i notice that it has a switch for uh, 110 or 220 so if you're in your no problem then you can turn it on and off here and then it also has these mounting brackets if you want to mount this to a wall or board or something like that which is pretty cool. We'll take a closer look at this in a second, but I did want to take a quick look at these babies. And uh, this is what we're going to use to charge our battery. We're just going to connect these to the terminals. Uh, you have red for positive, black for negative. And uh, hopefully this is all wired up all right so we don't cross anything out. And then you just plug this into the plug that we looked at earlier. I'm going to zoom in real quick so we can take a look at some of the writing on the actual device itself. So give me one second. All right, let's take a look at this and see what it says. Again, here's the model, and it's got various certifications on here. I don't know if those are real or not. AC input, 110 to 220, 60 hertz, 8 amps max. 200 to 240 at 60 hertz, 4 amps max. Battery types, this says ternary lithium battery, and I don't think I've ever worked with any of those. And then we have uh, lithium iron phosphate. Uh, DC output, red goes to positive, black goes to negative. 14.6 volts at 30 amps. And then here it says uh, power on, you get a green light. Charge and you get a red flash. And full charge is green on. So I guess power on and, green, and full charge are the same. It's designed for lithium battery only. Please read the instruction manual. Please read the instruction carefully before charging. And then there's a couple of other warnings down here. All right, what I want to do is I'm going to connect this up to a battery, do some charging, and then uh, we're going to use a clamp meter to see what kind of amperage we're getting out of this baby. Okay, this was in the instruction manual that uh, was referenced on the device. So when we take a look at this, it's called a charging curve. This is fairly typical for chargers like this. And what you can see is as your voltage goes up, your current charge is going to change depending upon the state of your battery. So you go through a trickle charge, then you go through a constant current, and then you go to constant voltage, and then constant voltage down to down here. But essentially what this is telling you is as your battery progresses through its charging cycle, the output of this device is going to vary. 
So we'll try to take a look at that. I don't know how well of a job we're going to do, but uh, we're, we're going to hook it up and see. Okay, so here we are set up in the corner of the room. And what I want to do is I want to hook up a multimeter to this battery that's pretty dead just to get a reading off of it. And let's see what we get. And I think it's going to settle somewhere around 12 volts. That's where we are. Now we have the charger plugged into the wall. And you can see the green light letting us know that it is on and ready for standby. So what I want to do now is I want to plug all this stuff in. And I already tested it for polarity. So it plugs in with the correct polarity. And then I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to clip these big old alligator clips onto the battery. And we'll see what happens. And I think we're going to get a couple of sparks here, but it's probably not going to be anything good. And you probably couldn't see them. Now, on the charger, the light is flashing red. And we got things going. What I want to do now is I want to use my clamp meter to connect to the positive lead on the battery and get a reading. And here you can see it is reading a charge of 30 amps, which is exactly what we want. And that's perfect. Let me go ahead and set up real quick with the NOCO Genius 10, which is the charger that I typically use, so you can see the difference. And here we go. We have the exact same setup, this time with the NOCO Genius 10. And if you take a look at the Kiwitz clamp meter, you can see that we are getting 10 amps. And that's exactly what we want, exactly what we expect. Again, to charge this battery from the grave, I'm looking at 10 hours with the NOCO Genius 10 and 3.5 and with the R-Droid, which is pretty fantastic. All right, so this thing's been running for about an hour, and I wanted to feel the handles here, and everything is cool to the touch. The power cable, the chassis, everything seems like it's working just fine. Now, this thing does have a fan that is pretty loud, but uh, that's what you would expect on something pumping out 30 amps. But it seems to work well. There's a little bit of sparks there as I disconnect everything. What I want to do now is break out the multimeter and take a look and see how much we've charged this battery in roughly an hour. I also let this thing run for a lot longer before I recorded this voiceover. And it charged the battery to completion without any issue. So connecting this up, let's see what we see. And we were at 12 volts before we started. Now we are at 13.9. And the charger does what it advertised. I kind of like it. If you get something like this, make sure you read the instruction manuals for the charger, the battery, and make sure you understand what you're doing. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, or recommendations, post them below and I'll do my best to respond. As always, thanks for watching.